This is a new little short uh, series that I'm putting together which is uh, just going to address some of the frequently asked questions that I get on my videos. Now uh, recently I've been uh, just trawling through some of the old comments and seeing if anyone's had any problems with any of the techniques or if there's um, any specific um, issues or songs in fact that people would like to have a more detailed look at so that's what uh, these lessons are going to deal with. I haven't been able to make so many videos recently because uh, me and my wife actually just had a little baby boy so for the past couple of months I've been uh, sort of dealing with baby stuff but uh, I figured that um, I'd be able to make some shorter quicker videos hence the different format um, I haven't put up all the backdrop because that takes time I've got to edit it uh, more detailed and got to go into keying and uh, mats and stuff and it just gets a little bit more complicated and time consuming so hopefully these are going to be quick and easy to put out. Um, in the first uh, Frequent Last Question videos we're going to look at uh, Crazy which is uh, right from the beginning um, when I looked at uh, Progressive Guitar Techniques 1 um, I did really simple chord sequence based around Niles Barkley's Crazy with the bass drum, hi-hat, snare drum thing and I get so many questions, I'm going to put some of the comments up in the side so you can have a look but basically most of the questions that people ask are how you do that chord sequence and also things like um, how I do the click and strum at the same time so that's what we're going to be looking at in the first lesson and I'll put a little link to that at the end of this, so this is just an announcement video so you can click through and see that.